Hello and welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. For years, we've been helping countless users get their data management under control. Much of the focus has been on SOLIDWORKS and engineering change control, but today I want to talk about managing simulation data inside of the PDM environment. In this video, I'm going to look at how we can manage the setup information and result values, who actually ran and approved the simulation, and how do we find existing information. And just like design data, there's lots of simulation data to manage. The first area to review is the PDM data card. Define what your business needs are in regards to what types of simulation metadata are important for you, and then set aside space to store all of this data. In this example, you can see we're not involved in any flow or nonlinear, so our metadata are limited to these simulation and mesh types and these result values. Users will simply enter the values once their simulations are run. Once our data card is set, we'll want to define the simulation workflow. It's really not much different than a regular design review. Do you need a simulation run? Yes. Then submit for a requirements check, run the simulations, review and approve the results. For me, this all starts with a simple checkbox on the model's data card to initiate the simulation workflow, and while not allowing documents to bypass this step. Now this is just an example, and I'm sure some organizations will need to flesh this out in more detail. What's important is that you're reviewing and approving engineering data with historical capture of who did what and when. This is just PDM 101, but with simulation data. Lastly, we need to build a method to find all of this wonderful data. This is one of the big reasons why data cards and workflows are important, so that we can search for existing CAD data that already has simulation results. Now the search card can simply be an extension of the simulation components that we've already seen. Wouldn't it be great to find that rotor that already falls within a certain factor of safety and not have to redo the sim studies? Sure would save me some time. Well, I hope this video has provided some ideas on how to manage your simulation data. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.